This is a perfect example of Justin Herbert doing absolutely everything for this Chargers offense. You can see the Raiders are blitzing and it's a free rusher off this right side. So he steps up, gets hit as he's throwing by a different defensive lineman, throws it in stride to Gerald Everett, who bobbles the ball, ends up catching it, and then runs downfield to get the first down. How much does Justin Herbert have to do before he gets some help, man? Come on. Can somebody help out my man? Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert did as much as he could possibly do to try to go out and get a win against the Raiders in spite of poor offensive play calling by Joe Lombardi and in spite of terrible offensive line play with at times four of his starting offensive linemen not playing and even in spite of his receivers not getting separation down the field even guys like Keenan Allen couldn't get separation at times so I'm gonna pull up this film and show you how great Justin Herbert played in spite of all this and while I do that go ahead and like and subscribe to the Chargers LAFB YouTube channel for the best Chargers content on YouTube and now let's get into the film room so it starts immediately this is the very first play of the game on the right side we got Max Crosby against Foster Serrell. I said Forrest Serrell last time. It's actually Foster Serrell. I just got confused with someone else. But backup right tackle is a backup right tackle for a reason. Look at this. He has a pretty good get off actually at the start of this play. And then just boom, right at the point of contact, he gets beat. Those arms get swiped all the way down. Sack fumble on the very first play of the game. Justin Herbert with the wherewithal and the toughness to pick that ball up broken ribs and all this one's still on the first drive so we got jerry tillery right here going up against zion johnson max crosby again against the right tackle but check out jerry tillery getting that whoop hits zion right on the head gets that rip move on the inside and he actually beats zion johnson on this play and max crosby going for that swipe justin herbert with the really good pocket awareness to get that ball up away from that swiping arm and then the great pocket maneuverability to get away from Jerry Tillery. And also, I'm just going to rewind it here because there is some good on this play. Jamari Sawyer going up against Chandler Jones on this one. He doesn't get beat. Keeps him on the outside right there. And if, you know, Justin Herbert wasn't under pressure so much, he wouldn't have to run up. And then Chandler Jones wouldn't be getting back into that play to get the sack. This is the last Jerry Tillery play that I'm going to show you because I'm getting sick of this man. Look, he just beats... Brandon Hymas so fast and hits Justin Herbert. Now let's get into some Justin Herbert greatness. So Keenan Allen is going to be running over the middle of the field. Austin Eckler going deep into the end zone. And then we're going to have Josh Palmer right here. Just kind of sit in this soft spot, trying to pull uh, whoever's in coverage right there. So I think this ball is designed to go to Keenan Allen in this spot right here. But Justin Herbert gets pressured immediately by Max Crosby, has to roll out to his right. Keenan Allen has no separation at all. And so... Justin Herbert tries to fit this ball in to Austin Eckler right there. You see the ball is right there on his hands. Really an amazing throw by Justin Herbert. And check out the ball placement as well. So here's the ball. Let's just track it. Here it is. Boom. Right on the hands of Austin Eckler. Oh, my goodness. And look, that, that's a tough catch. That is a tough catch. But that is a tough throw. An amazing throw by Justin Herbert. Holy cow. This is another play designed to go to Keenan Allen. This is fourth and two, top of the screen. Keenan Allen just gonna go up, try to shimmy this man and cross over the middle of the field. He's not gonna get open. Justin Herbert is gonna get pressured. You can see right there, he's not open. Justin Herbert pressured, decides to run up and he doesn't get the first down, so that's a turnover. And the Raiders were coming at Justin Herbert all game. They were doing blitzes and they even when they weren't blitzing, they had like these three or four defensive linemen just absolutely beating their men so quick and so when that happens it's really good to call a screen pass like this justin herbert is the best in the league at allowing this defensive lineman to come right in his face pause as he throws the screen pass so that it takes as many defenders as you can out of the play all of these guys are out of the play especially this guy way back here next to justin herbert and then you get that screen pass to gerald everett and he runs so angry i love seeing gerald everett run like this stiff arm that guy to the ground gerald i love it such a quick diagnosis by justin herbert on this play josh palmer in the slot right here is the man that he's going to go to just right over the middle of the field. It's nothing uh, nothing complicated, just a simple, quick slant route. Check out how fast he is. Just goes, rolls up a little bit, plants his foot immediately, gets that ball off to Josh Palmer right in stride. Beautiful play, just a simple throw that you want your quarterback to make. Your elite quarterback should make this every time. Check this out in real speed. It's so fast. 
no hesitation at all, reads it perfectly. Even when Justin Herbert makes a mistake, he makes up for it. Check this out. He's going to fumble the snap right here. That's a good snap by Will Clapp. It's not too high. It's not too low. Justin Herbert just bobbles it and drops that ball. Whoop! And now it looks like he just laid an egg right here. Joshua Kelly was going, it looks like, for the fake handoff as Justin Herbert is now going for the ball. Max Crosby right here pressuring Justin Herbert. He keeps his composure. Really good footwork. Immediately just sets his base perfectly. Starts looking downfield. He's like, okay. None of these routes are going to develop because I just kind of messed this up. So go to my dump off target, Trey McKitty, who is wide open now because all of these guys have their focus on Justin Herbert because he did mess up and that's a fumbled ball. They want to go for the ball instead of a, a fumbled ball resulting in a loss. That is a nine yard gain to Trey McKitty. Speaking of Trey McKitty, I know a lot of people, uh, especially on Chargers Twitter, give him a lot of flack, but here he is at the top of the screen right here. He's just gonna roll down and boom, hit Max Crosby, take him completely out of the play. Justin Herbert rolling out, has all the time in the world to Josh Palmer on the sideline. And that's a gain of a few yards created. Well, not necessarily created, but boom, definitely aided by Trey McKitty on that play. Really great block on a great edge defender in Max Crosby. These are the throws that Justin Herbert is going to have incomplete and Patrick Mahomes is going to have as a touchdown pass. Check this out. This is going to Gerald Everett in the end zone. Justin Herbert does a great job of moving around in the pocket, rolls out to his right side, gets that ball off, off platform, off of one foot, right to Gerald Everett right here. You see that? Okay. Now I'm going to go to the end zone view so you can see where this ball actually gets placed because Gerald Everett Boom, right there. You see, he has a chance at this play. And if, if this is like a guy like Travis Kelsey, who Mahomes is throwing to, not Gerald Everett, then, you know, you argue that's a touchdown right there. That's a stat for Patrick Mahomes. That's a tutty for Justin Herbert. That's just an incomplete pass. That's 0 for 1. This is another great example of how quickly Justin Herbert reads these plays. This is just a quick curl route to Keenan Allen right here. He's going to get the first down on this play. But check out the man you want to read. Denzel Perriman right here, who's already blitzing. Justin Herbert sees it, already has that foot planted. Bottom of the screen, cornerback is coming on a blitz as well. And he's already getting that ball off to a wide open Keenan Allen, who's going to run downfield, get that first down. Again, dude, like on this play, the offense is literally just Justin Herbert. It is crazy. He gets under pressure right here. He's going to roll out of the pocket, step up first, and then roll out. And then you see Keenan Allen right here. He's got no space, right? So Justin Herbert has nowhere to throw this ball right now. But the Raiders defender thinks, okay, Justin Herbert is a bigger threat than Keenan Allen. So he goes up, tries to tackle Herb. And Herbo just gets that thing out to Keenan Allen for a first down. That's not Joe Lombardi. That's not Keenan Allen. That's not the offensive line. That is all Justin Herbert. And then look, if you're Justin Herbert, you can't do it all all the time. Denzel Perriman right here is going to come on the blitz, go this side. He sees it. He steps up away from the blitzing man, but it's just too much pressure right here. He gets sacked. The thing that I do like to see on this play, uh, I didn't notice it the first time around, but check out Will Clapp, the center. He's going to pick up this defensive lineman, and then he sees he actually has really good vision right here to see Denzel Perriman blitzing, turn his body away, and actually he picks him up. He picks up that blitz. That's a really good heads-up play by the center, Will Clapp. Still results in a sack for Justin Herbert, though, because he was just under so much pressure. Top of the screen, Josh Palmer. Quick 10-yard curl route at the sticks. Justin Herbert has such good anticipation, but this one is on Josh Palmer. He is so good. Boom, plants that foot right there. Justin Herbert is already getting ready to uncork this thing, and he has space. He creates space, even goes a little closer to the sideline diagonally to create even more space on a lateral and lat longitude basis there, okay? If you understand X, Y, and Z axis, you know what I'm talking about. Diagonally across the football field is more yardage than just vertically or horizontally. And he creates even more space by doing that, gets that first down. Great catch by Josh Palmer. Really good throw with anticipation by Justin Herbert. You can see plants that foot, and then he steps right into that throw right there. As he is cutting, Justin Herbert is already getting that throw off. That's really good anticipation. To, I'm going to say it, Justin Herbert's best receiver this year. Joshua Palmer is the best receiver this year. You can argue Mike Williams. Obviously, Keenan Allen is the best overall. But if we're talking this year, 
Josh Palmer has been the only reliable guy. This is just, this one is really good play design. Okay, I'm going to be honest. DeAndre Carter, top of the screen. It's going to be a screen pass, but check this out. Justin Herbert looks for it, and it's a fake. I faked you. It's not a screen pass to DeAndre Carter. It's to Austin Eckler, and everyone was faked on this play too. So don't worry. It's not just you. Austin Eckler gets that ball. He ends up getting a bunch of yardage on this play. Pretty good block right there. I believe that's Matt Filer on that play. Gets the first down. And again, I just want to highlight, Justin Herbert is so good at allowing all these defenders to just leak into his lap as this man, Austin Eckler, the screen pass uh, receiver, is wide open as all those defenders. Uh, Justin Herbert just attracts so much attention on throws like that. This one's kind of similar to that uh, Keenan Allen one that I showed you earlier in the video, but it's going to be Michael Bandy at the top of the screen just running across the field. And then Justin Herbert is going to be kind of rolling with him to his right side. You can see fake handoff to Austin Eckler. All of these guys are out of the play. And now it's just Herbo. And Gerald Everett gets a pretty good block right there. Be careful. You don't want to get blocked in the back. But let me just rewind. Because you can see Michael Bandy coming across the middle of the field. He's not open right now because of this defender. But again, these Raiders defenders give so much respect to Herbert's uh, mobility that he just comes up on this play, allows Michael Bandy to become open. So Justin Herbert just dots him up along the sideline, gets a first down. I know I've already showed you two screen passes. This is another screen pass, but this one is very significant to me because check this out. Again, all of these Raiders defenders just go so fast to Justin Herbert. He attracts so much attention. He's like the best in the league at getting these defensive linemen out of the play on these screen passes. Austin Eckler catches it right here. Okay, pause. Look at the field. Look right here. These guys are out. All these guys are out of the play. Austin Eckler running down the field. DeAndre Carter. <laughs> DeAndre Carter, if he blocks this man, if he holds this block, oh my gosh. That is a tutty. For Austin Eckler, you have to be kidding me. Uh, DeAndre Carter, you got to hold that block, man. Come on, buddy. Because Austin Eckler is going to go down the field. He is going to make the safety miss. I know he does because when Austin Eckler is running the football, it looks like he's playing bubble soccer with these defenders. Oh man, that would have been a huge play. But you know what was a huge play? Fourth and 12 in Raiders territory in Las Vegas. The Chargers needed this one to stay competitive. You can see nobody is open right now. They need to get at least 12 yards. Herbert starts running to his right side, throws this ball off platform to Keenan Allen in the end zone. And you can see, boom, right there, dots him up. He catches the ball and Keenan Allen comes right up and starts talking smack. I love it. Check this out from the end zone view. It is so good by Justin Herbert. Again, this is all him, but this I'm going to highlight as well is a really good boom right there. Really good adjustment by Keenan Allen. You see, bang. Oh my gosh. What a catch too. Really just a great catch by Keenan Allen. And I love how he gets up and starts talking smack. I love it. So that's the film, man. And, you know, as bad as it's been for this offense at times, we still have an amazing quarterback like Justin Herbert. I'm not exactly on the fire Joe Lombardi train just yet, but I'm going to be honest, I'm getting there. Let me know what you guys think about firing Joe Lombardi as well. And make sure to like and subscribe to the Chargers LAFB YouTube channel. I will see you guys next time.